This video is going to continue with our discussion of user forms and we're just going to look at a sample application and uh, I'd like you to try to put this sample application together uh, simply because again the experience of uh, typing in the code and kind of watching how it all interacts and putting it together is uh, is important. So for starters I've got a, a button on my on my screen here and uh, this button simply will run the game and, and we'll talk about that but I'll go ahead and just run the game here. So it, it pops up the user form and you can either quit, which I'll just quit, or of course you can play a new game. Now you'll notice when I click on this text box you can't actually do anything and you can't click on anything else and have it do anything but I'll click new game and and this label, this is just a label, comes up with a little direction it says please guess a number from 1 to 100 so I'll guess 50 and it tells me I'm too low um, so I'll guess 25 and that's too low and I'll guess uh, you know half of 25 I'll guess 12 um, whoops I went the wrong way I'm sorry <laughs> pay attention here so I'll go 75 and that's too high so I'll go 62 and that's still too high so I'll go you know 58 uh, and that's too high let's go 55 uh, maybe I'm not paying attention here or maybe it's not working <laughs> let's go 52 uh, I think I'm not doing this right. Let's try 50 again. Oops, too high. Oh, I'm just not paying attention. 25, too low. Oh, i got to go the other way. Uh, this guy's a real idiot. 32, too low. 40, <laughs> too high. Let's try 36, too low. Oops, 26, 36. Uh, 38, too high. Oops, let's see if it's 37. Oh, we got it. And now we can either play a new game or we can quit. Notice this is no longer available. It's it's disabled. So this particular cell um, text box is disabled. And if I uh, quit, it just quits. If I hit new game, it uh, clears that box out. And oops, notice it left the great job. That's it. it. Left that. And so that's a little bug in this program. But we'll take a look at that. Let me just quit. So for starters, in the Visual Basic environment, I have a code window, a uh, code module. And the code module basically has just a a single line in it that says guessing game dot show and guessing game as you can see is the name of my form so we want to show that and we just did that and then this little module I mean this little piece of code is just linked into that button you see on the on the Excel sheet so let's take a look at the form the form is uh, fairly simple it's got a, a text box it has a label this is a label and another label and then two buttons and again, you want to name everything. Now, this label I called um, text directions, and that's actually a bad name. I should have called it something like LBL directions, but I was just sort of thinking it's text, and so that's that's a little misleading. This text box I called text user guess, and then this I called text output. Now, there's nothing really wrong with these names. It's just that TXT might be reserved for for a text box and and these are actually labels and you can see that in the uh, properties window here these are labels you can also pop this menu down and you see all the different widgets here so I've got a I've got a button I've got a button I've got a user form and I have a label a label and a text box and you can jump to any one of these of course by using this menu but you can also just click on your form so now let's take a look at some of the code for this thing I'm just gonna double click on the quit button here and it opens up and it takes me to quit and quit basically is very simple it just says unload me now the use of me here is kind of uh, complicated but we're not going to overthink it basically what that's saying is unload the form this button is part of the form all of this code that we're looking at here is the code for the form and so it's self-referencing here it's basically saying unload me which means unload the form so I can totally change the name of this form and uh, it still works I don't have to worry about that not working any longer but if I change the name of the form and I said unload and I gave the name of the form then uh, I'd have a little problem there so uh, I'm just gonna scroll all the way to the very top here and I want you to notice at the very beginning I have a variable declared here but I've declared it in a very different way I've put this keyword private in front of that variable name what the keyword private does is it says that this particular variable secret number is only accessible to any 
subroutines or functions within this code window, within this code module, if you will. This is the code window or the code module for the form. So I could not access that variable and, and change it from anywhere outside of these procedures you see right here. And so if I tried to access it here in my code module, it wouldn't work. So I'll go back into that. You'll notice also the subroutines when you're inside of a form have the keyword private. That means that these subroutines cannot be called from anywhere outside of this form. And so the private keyword is, is actually very important and very useful. So we certainly want to leave that. And any variables you declare outside of any procedures, you definitely should declare those private in front. It's like replacing the keyword dim, but you say private instead. So uh, the button quit simply unloads the form from memory. Let's go on down and see what button start does. Now button start basically needs to do several things. The first thing it wants to do is it wants to calculate a new secret number. And we just use our application worksheet function ran between for that. That's very simple. The text directions caption, since it's a label, it's the captions property, needs to be set. So we do that. We set the user guest text box to the empty text. We set the user guest text box to enabled. We set it enabled equals true. That is a property of the text box. And so that means that the user can actually type into that text box. And then we set the focus on that text box. And so that allows the cursor, it, it puts the cursor right into that text box. That's what set focus does. So all of those are very useful. Now let's go down and, and take a look at what happens when the user actually types a number. So when the user types a number and hits enter, the text, the, the text box for the user's guest generates its exit event. And the exit event basically says that the, the person is exiting that text box. So as soon as they type something and hit exit, that's when we want to take a look at their number. So the first thing we do is we just take a look at their number to see if it's of empty string or not. And I'm assuming they type a number and not actual text, so don't worry about that kind of error checking right now. So if they did type something other than just the empty string, then we grab that and we stick it into our user input variable here. And the user input variable is just a just a long, so that's no big deal. So then we say to ourselves, if the user input is equal to the secret number, we want to basically change the caption on our output label to say, you know, great job, that's it. We want to set the text guess enabled to false so they can't actually type anything into that text box. And we want to set the text directions back to press new game or quit to tell them that those are their options. If the user input is less than the secret number, our output caption is just set to too low. Else, the only other option is it has to be greater than, and so we set the output option to too high. So that's pretty simple. So that's a fairly simple little procedure, in fact. Let's go on down to the very last thing here. And the very last procedure you see here is when the user form is activated. That's when it comes up on the screen the first time there. If the user form gets activated, what we want to do is we want to put the little caption on there that says press new game or quit. So it gives them the directions. And we want to set the text box that the user can type in. We want to set that enabled to false. Because we don't want the person typing into the text box until they click the new game button. So that's all there is to it. Now, we did have an error, though, and that is when the user actually hit the button click, we wanted to clear the output caption that said, that's great, you got it. So we have this text output dot caption. So we just want to clear that. So I'm going to copy that. And so up here, when they hit the button start for a new game, I'm just going to go ahead and add that line right there. And I'm going to say we want to just set an empty string into that output caption so they won't see that great you got it when they start a new game. So that's pretty much how this program works. I'd like you to see if you could put that together. Um, essentially, you know, it's just a matter of kind of copying the code that I have here, but you gotta, you gotta create the form, you gotta put all the widgets on the form properly, you gotta name the widgets properly, you know, you can see the various names here, I had button quit, button start, guessing game was the name of the user form, text directions was my top label, text output was my bottom label, and text user guess was the name of my text box. So you can see the elements here. When I highlight them, you can see that the, the elements are here, plus these two buttons. So give that a shot and see if you can get that running.